What it do, what it do. Nine million, I'm back with another vlog, y'all. Took a little day off yesterday, you know what I mean? But I'm back to it. Back to it. Another day, not getting to no dollars because this is my off day. My last off day, too. But uh, we want to get the day started with y'all. I'll check back in a little bit. Peace. Man, all right, so addressing some of these comments. Uh, somebody said to check out Trucker Scooby Doo. I definitely did. I just uh, just looked him up. I see he got like 21,000 subscribers. So I'm definitely going to check him out. I hit that subscribe button. You know what I mean? Uh, I just did that right now, too. So I ain't really got nothing else to talk about as far as that's concerned. But uh, somebody was asking me, do I drive a... Do I have a manual or a... A manual or a... Um, automatic transmission on my my vehicle my truck and i have a automatic i know somebody else was saying i'm a steering wheel holder and you damn right <laughs> i was looking for a school that had um that i can get my my manual endorsement on it but i wasn't able to and when i was talking to my school about whether they had it or not they said no, they don't really offer it because most of these companies are switching to automatics. So, um, yeah, I was like, fuck it. They switching to automatics anyway. Let's do it. And I'm kind of glad I did. I ain't got to worry about fucking switching gears and traffic and shit. I'm already having a hard enough time learning how to drive this big ass truck, you know, with it being an automatic. So, I ain't crying about it. That's for damn sure. I know y'all may be more special than me. You got y'all manual endorsements and all. And I ain't mad at your shit. Happy for you, actually. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't get no fuck. I'm getting this money anyway. It's not like I get paid more money for having no manual. So, hey, it is what it is. Um, let me see. Let me pull this bad boy out. Let me pull this bad boy out. Oh, hopefully, what's the name? Jay Denali. Is that a belt trailer? I know it's not a tipper. And I'm pretty sure you are referring to the video I did with all that cotton seed that they were throwing in the back of the trailer. And hopefully you watch the next video after that to see how just how they got that stuff off of there, man. It was pretty interesting. I didn't know this type of thing existed with this heavy ass truck, but it does. And it was cool to watch. Um, hopefully you watch the next video after this one that you just commented on. I really do appreciate you for commenting on it. Uh, let's see, let's see. Somebody else talking about my massage therapy, my junk removal videos. I ain't really main, um, worried about that too much because that massage therapy stuff was um, something I can still do. I'm still certified and all of that, but it's not what I'm pushing. I'm, also, I'm more so using that for like family. Um, my holistic health things like family and friends that need issues taken care of and I use my expertise to help them out. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm really not using that as a business model for myself. Once I do get back on that, it'll be after I get my trucking company um, ro rolling and rolling good. And I got employees and I got trucks running and I'm just dispatching and all that. Once I'm in that route, then I'll get back to teaching my martial arts as well as doing the uh, massage therapy. Those two kind of go hand in hand with me. Um, but like I said, I kind of push that off to the side until I get this truck if they ain't going good because it's more of a labor of love and not so much it's not a lot of money in it man it's some money don't get me wrong it's people doing well for themselves but for the most part that's not what i'm trying to do i'm not trying to trade my time for money um to earn for my family um that's why i chose this trucking this trucking business and this industry because it's a scalable business i can hire people and get that shit going well i won't be having to drive to earn money to hire other people and have my business you know bringing in money without me having to trade my time for it like i said once that's done and i get back to teaching i will trade my time for some money but it's not something that i'm gonna have to do for money you feel me i'm gonna be doing it for a labor of love so uh yeah thanks for coming though uh, i think that's mostly that's mostly it. Somebody asked if I can um, take my family on the road with me. And yes, with this company, I can take people on the road with me for free up to a certain age. So I can take my old lady, but I can't take my baby. Um, 
So with that said, if I can't take my baby, I can't take my old lady neither, which is all right with me anyway, because um, I like being by myself on the truck. I ain't even gonna lie. It'd be cool to have them every now and then, but I'm still new in the industry. I don't need no more, um, no more distractions or none of that. Maybe later on down the road when I'm on my own, got my own company, maybe I'll bring them bring people with me but as of right now i ain't even worried about it and on top of that i'm with a good company which is paper transport if y'all thinking about maybe coming over here let me know um you can use me as a reference but um with this company i was able to get on a six and two schedule so which means i work six apple six hours six days and i'm off two which means i don't have the same two days off every week it always um always changes so i'll have some weekends off i'll have some weekdays off like for instance right now i had a sunday monday off this week which i kind of like it like that because if i was off on the weekends then i would have to take days off to be able to do you know hit, reach appointments and all of that but by me having you know some week weekdays off just naturally then i can schedule my appointments and stuff around that you feel me i ain't gotta take no days off and miss no money um so yeah, it's a, it's a good company, y'all. I like it so far, so good. I've talked to five, what's it, five and a half, four and a half, five and a half day drivers. That's one of my trainers. He's a five and a half day driver. Um, and then he's off a day and a half. He said he likes that because he can plan his money better. He's always off on the weekends. It's just better for him and his family, his family dynamic. Uh, my, my first trainer was a home daily guy. He likes the company. Both of them dudes like the company. I got a mentor with this company. He is a two weeks out driver. I don't know how many days he get home. I didn't ask, but he likes being out two days, uh, two weeks at a time. I guess he gets capitalizes more of his money like that. So um, he likes the company. Uh, so far, I've only seen. One of these one of these guys that don't like to come and get in my comments. So hopefully get back in the comments and let us know why. I'm curious. I like to learn from everybody. Good and bad. You feel me? Because I ain't got nothing but good to say right now. Excuse me. I farted. <laughs> Realest vlog on YouTube, baby. I ain't going to lie to you. Try to see if there's anything else I want to address. Uh, I think that's it for now, y'all. If I can think of anything, if I see anything, then um, I'll address it. If I missed anything, if y'all got any questions or comments, get in the comments, let me know. Ask your questions, state your comments, and uh, I'll get to it best I can. I most likely won't be in the comments uh, conversing with you. I'm going to do it via video like I'm doing now. So thanks for rocking with me, man. Hit that like button. Um, I really do appreciate y'all. And uh, let's grow together. Peace. Work on y'all goals, man. I'm going to keep saying that. I'm going to keep saying that, man. I've been motivated. I'm a self-motivated person. And so I try to have that, use that to help other people get motivated and get off their ass and, you know, follow their dreams and goals. Uh, still early in the day. I'll check back in with y'all later, man. Thanks for rocking. Peace.